Well, this is a good update on the hive heaters. The winter boxes are doing their job. It's currently 30 degrees outside, and uh, the internal temperature of the boxes range between 61 degrees and 64 degrees. Now, I've got all of the boxes set at 60 degrees, so that's pretty much in the range that I would expect. I've opened up the, uh, the side panels, the windows on the, uh, on the hives, and the bees are just hanging out. They're not clustering. They're walking around on the comb. And uh, they seem happy. I look on the landing boards. There are no bees out yet. But the, uh, the hives are warm. And the weather is cold. So I'm going to call this a win. I don't think the bees even realize that it's 28 degrees outside. They are moving slowly, specifically the ones by the glass, but I don't see a lot of condensation on the inside of the glass, and that's a good sign. And the bees seem happy. This is what the temperature inside the hive reads. I've got temperature sensors inside the hive. I've got two per hive. One to control the cooling, the other to control the heating, and I'll explain that later. But uh, inside the inside the hive, it's 60 degrees, and that's uh, that's what temperature I've got the hive set at. I tell you, it just looks cold out there. It is cold out there. It's like the sun's just about to rise. What a beautiful morning. I'm going to call this a win. I get the feeling the bees don't even know that it's cold outside. Now tomorrow afternoon, the temperature is supposed to reach 60 degrees. And if that's the case, I'm going to do a complete hive inspection on each one of the hives. I think it's important that I find and check on the queen in each one of these boxes before I actually seal them up for the winter and don't go in them anymore. I'm also planning on feeding them one more time. As you can tell, three of the boxes I've taken the food off of, the, the feeder boxes removed. The box on the end, the hive on the end, still has the feeder box on because when I checked them yesterday, all the buckets were empty except that one. That one, the sugar had actually crystallized. I guess that's the problem when you eyeball your uh, sugar syrup mixture. I put too much sugar in it and it crystallized and they couldn't get anything out of the screen. So I have changed buckets for them, added a little bit of water to the mixture, and hopefully right now they are draining that bucket. And with that, I will see you tomorrow.